Well, adrenaline for sure is high, you know, so I'm, I'm just really happy and super proud of myself. Uh, this week has been, um, you know, <laughs> not easy, and, but I, f I feel like it's a kind of ref reflection of the whole season. So um, I'm just happy that I could cope with everything well, and um, I kind of used my experience from all these years to perform well here. Iga, congratulations for the victory. Two questions. The first, uh, you are the second pole in history to win the WTA finals, and you are once again number one in the world. How does it feel? And the second, the people in Cancun and Mexico really love you. Uh, many fans came from Poland, but you are one of the favorites of the Mexican fans. How much would you like to play here again? Yeah, um, the atmosphere was amazing and it was the same, you know, uh, when I first came to Mexico to Guadalajara um, two years ago. So um, every time Mexican fans, they don't disappoint. And for sure, you know, Polish people came as well. And there, um, there's more and more of them. I don't know how <laughs> in every country that I play. So I really appreciate the support and um, the energy that they give us. But overall, uh, yeah, winning this title, um, you know, I'm really happy, you know, that Aga kind of did that before because she showed us that, you know, this is it's possible for um, for a Polish player to achieve things like that. So, um, so it's great that I can kind of continue the legacy that she started. And uh, coming back to world number one, it's it's a dream come true for sure. You know, I would say I wasn't expecting that right now um, this season. I I was kind of <laughs> hoping that maybe next year is gonna be. <laughs> my year, but it seems like, um, you know, just working hard and focusing on the right things at the end worked, so I'm really happy. Iga, congrats on all that. Um, in, Be in Beijing, you were saying that you weren't really in a rush to get the number one. You wanted to play well, yeah. become a better person, all that sort of stuff, uh, and that it would eventually come, but you played this tournament as though there was intention, there was like, I don't know, just an intense level of focus um, and purpose. Can you talk through that a little bit in terms of what, I don't know, how much did the number one ranking play in kind of your mind this week? I would say it played a lot um, in the, uh, the US Open and tournaments before, but, um, but I kind of learned my lesson and this time I didn't want to, didn't want it to have an impact on me, so, um, yeah, it played a little bit, you know. <laughs> it's hard not to think about stuff like that, but actually when I went on court, I knew that I have to focus on different things, and actually uh, the conditions here that were kind of tricky also helped me to just, you know, focus on, I don't know, adjusting my my footwork, my, my shots, you know, and um, that just kept me busy, you know, from thinking about all of that. So I think today was like a highlight of um, this, like, mental, um, th just being like narrow with your head, only thinking about the right stuff. And um, for sure, you know, I kind of used all the experience that I gained, you know, on important matches like that to be able to do that today. So I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, congrats again, Iga. Thank uh, you. How important is your team first thing, mentally, and not only physical, but mentally strong? Well, my team, um, without them, I wouldn't be here, honestly. I was pretty lucky to find the right people pretty early to um, to just get me better, you know? Um, and I always worked on, on every aspect of the game, uh, physical, like tennis-wise, but also mentally. And yeah, as you said, uh, I think, you know, it's the most important thing because, um, this is why I can handle, you know, situations like like today or even the whole tournament, and really not to waste energy on thinking about stuff that I shouldn't think about, you know. So, um, so I'm pretty, yeah, I'm really grateful for um, having these great people in my team and um, my psychologist Daria Abramovich for sure. Without her help, um, I think a couple of times this season I wouldn't even go. <laughs> Go on court sometimes, so um, so yeah. This is these are like the things that you don't see on the camera, but um, but their support and her support really pushed me through some tough moments this year. Um, 
the specter of 2022 was kind of, it was a shadow that was kind of, you had to play an out of uh, throughout the season. And I'm curious now that you can, it's the end of it, and you can look back. I mean, you won one more match this year than you did last year, which is kind of really? crazy. Okay. Um, and you're back at number one. So uh, what is the, what was the challenge of playing out of your own shadow while everyone was also kind of chasing you? Well, honestly, I don't know if I still did that because 2022 was so amazing that I don't know if, uh, if it's going to be possible for me to repeat a season like that, you know, so I just, I don't know, I just don't, didn't feel at the end like I'm in the shadow anymore because I knew that I'm having, you know, another great season and um, and honestly, I kind of accepted that I'm not going to have a season like that, like in 2022 and I just kind of looked forward, you know, so, um, so for sure since Beijing I started feeling a little bit more free because I just kind of um, I really worked not to, to work on not really focusing on the last year and just pushing forward you know so um, yeah for sure it helps at the end of the season uh, a lot of fans came tonight Iga but a lot of them were children what message could Iga's Biotic had can tell them to pursue their dreams to pursue it? <laughs> well, um, that's a tough question because like, <laughs> it's hard to like sum up my whole experience in like one sentence, but for sure, um, the thing that I like to tell it, like children is to find right people around you because um, like, I don't know, some people tell us that um, we should do things on our own and we should be strong and, uh, not really look at on anybody, just you know push forward, but the, like truth to be told, even in individual sport, you need good people around you to support you, and it 's not bad to lean on somebody sometimes, um, so I would say, yeah, um, you don 't have to do it on your own, find good people around you. <laughs> 